can't handle the truth. This is going to be the quickest episode I think I've ever done. Uh, Kid Smoove said on Friday, the same day something major happened, he said that, um, this is the question, if Spider-Man was still made by Insomniac but published by Activision and available for PS4, Xbox, and PC, would you still be as hyped? Uh, my answer, you guys can give any answer you want in the comment section of this video, but my answer would be no. Um, due to the fact that the license expired four years ago for the majority of Marvel video games published by Activision, including Spider-Man, X-Men, and Deadpool, across service game systems for Steam, for the PC, Xbox Live for Xbox 360, and the Xbox One, and PSN for PS3 and PS4, and on the same day, the Kids Move asked that question, which was July 27, 2018, news came out that the Marvel Ultimate Alliance remasters for not only Steam, but PS4 and PSN. I have Marvel Ultimate Alliance Part 2 still downloaded on my PS4. Um, they were taken. But this has happened before. Because as you can see right here, this all happened January 2nd, 2014. Uh, Activision and Marvel's partnership comes to an end. And clearly, the same day, this was also posted, where when their partnership came to an end, they started removing their games from the game services. And then right here, License to Kill, Activision's Marvel games gone from digital sale for good. Activision doesn't make good superhero video games. I think we all can agree. Maybe during the PS2 generation, they did some good stuff, but no. Now, as far as the Xbox community that is saying that Spider-Man 2, the video game based off of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie, is similar to that of the Insomniac game Spider-Man video game, and that it's the same exact city but is just reskinned, well, let's see if that's true. Spider-Man jumps off the building. You see tons and tons of pop-in. There are cars that are supposed to be cars that when you get close to them, they turn into taxi cabs. Watch this video a lot of time. Uh, at that point in time, he was swinging from thin air, to be 100% honest with you. Mm -hmm. So it's the same game for Xbox fans. And I'm going to give you the big secret after you see the, the Insomniac version of Spider-Man. Okay, so... While you're seeing this, the big secret is they're, they're trying to make a comparison because behind the scenes of them trashing this new Spider-Man, they hope that uh, the backwards compatibility for the other Spider-Man video games throughout the time that Activision made them will magically go to the Xbox One for them to play in what they believe is native 4K, but that won't happen because I've already showed you that they lost the publishing rights to make that decision and that decision goes back to who it goes back to the people that made this game possible spider-man video games the old ones owned by uh, marvel marvel owned by disney disney made a partnership with sony to get a new spider-man game and to also have spider-man included in the marvel cinematic movie universe so that's not happening for any Xbox fan that literally believes the backwards compatibility for older Spy Spider-Man games is a possibility in 2018. I just showed you everything you need to know. It is not going to happen. Also, before the end of this video, I want to thank everybody. Um, I'm almost at 8,000 subscribers. I guarantee you uh, by September 7th when Spider-Man comes out, I should be at or above the 8,000 subscriber mark. And I want to thank everybody that's been supporting this channel um, since 2011. You know, you guys been here. A lot of you guys been here, I guess, uh, since I started doing PlayStation Home videos. And, of course, you know, Killzone 3 and other PS3 gameplay videos. Uh, but I, I really want to give a big shout out to you guys. Um, but please, make sure this information gets out. I'm going to have it in the link in the description. Kids Move wants Activision to do Spider-Man games again. But four years ago, 
They lost that ability. So he's wrong, and all the Xbox fans that are not coming clean, we, you can find them on Twitter, by the way. They're up there begging Phil Spencer for backwards compatibility for older Spider-Man games just so they can brag. Um, they're wrong because that's not going to happen. The partnership between Marvel and Activision doesn't exist. Marvel is now owned by Disney. Disney has an active partnership with the movies and video games with Sony as far as Spider-Man is concerned. So they're not going to make uh, the older Spider-Mans available for backwards compatibility when they already... Well, let me go back to this. They've already taken them from the stores. All of them. All of the older Spider-Mans have been taken from all gaming stores. Digital. And they're not making the boxes or the game disc anymore. That's why The Amazing Spider-Man 2 costs as high as $250 on Amazon to buy on Prime. Because they don't have any more copies. They're scarce. Spread this information out. Make sure the Xbox community knows the truth about what happened with Activision and Marvel. Make sure they know the truth. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose.